Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today, gonna be making some Mexican corn. Uh, they call it in Mexico is elote. But uh, what we're gonna do is roast some corn. We're gonna cut it off the cob, mix it with some uh, good cheeses and a little bit of hot pepper, some lime, a little bit of crema. So uh, check it out right now. All right, y'all, so I got some fresh corn here. Just shucked it. So I'm going to spray it down with some olive oil, both sides. All right, we're going to take it out on the pit boss. We've got the pit boss set to about 400 degrees. Uh, what I want to do is get this, get some char on this, get it cooked. And we'll bring it back in, cut it off the cob, and put it together. All right. All right, y'all, so we got the pit boss up to about 350, 375. I tell you what, it is hot out here. Let me get a glove on. All right. All right, we're gonna put our corn up here. So like I said, all I wanna do is get a char on it. Get it cooked up. All right, I don't know how long is it gonna take? Probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And that's it, all right. All right, y'all, these been in here about 10 minutes or so. Let's take a peek. Go ahead and give them a turn. Yeah, we're getting a little char on there. Looking pretty good. All right, put these bad boys to bed for another 10 minutes or so. Come check on them again. All right, y'all, let's take a look at this corn. little turn charring up pretty nice I don't really want it to dry out or nothing I just want to get a good char on it so I say 10 more minutes we'll take it off of here all right y'all he's, he's been on here for about 45 minutes or so So we're going to take them on off. I don't want them to dry out too much. All right, let's take them in the house. All right, y'all, so we got the corn out. So now we're just going to cut it off the cob. It smells pretty good. I love me some corn. So anyway, let me get all this corn cut off here. I'll bring you on back. All right, we've got all the corn cut off. We got some cojita cheese, got some lime, got some crema, got some chili powder, some dark chili powder. All right, so to start this off, Got our skillet rolling. Let's get some, get some butter, a good amount. That's two tablespoons. Say about three tablespoons, four tablespoons. More butter, more better. All right, so let's get the butter melted down. Get you up in here a little closer. I 
here nice and hot and bubbly. All right, get the corn in there. haven't seasoned this yet so I'm gonna go ahead and actually let me do this it's incredible let's put a good amount about a teaspoon or so teaspoon and a half it's incredible Get it nice and hot. Put some fresh cracked black pepper in there. Put about a, I don't know, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of chili powder. That's enough. Go ahead and take a half a lime. Put a half a lime in there. Take our cojita cheese. Put a good amount in there, about a quarter cup or so. Get it mixed all in. All right. That's gonna do her. There we go. Mexican street corn, elote. All right, let's serve this up. Traditionally, they serve this in a styrofoam bowl or styrofoam cup. I don't have one of those, so we got our crema. So let's go ahead and pour some of that crema get a spoon put some crema on there oh yeah a couple spoonfuls this stuff is good it's like mexican sour cream so there we go all right y'all mexican street corn Elote. It's a good side dish. 
let's check this out man look at that you want a bite of that mm -mm -mm. only one thing left for this taste wow you know all the time i've been on this earth i never had a lote that is darn good there you go y'all so try this out sometime very easy to do a lot real flavorful the crema the lime a little chili powder Make sure you char the corn on the cob first. Cut it off the kernels. This is the winner right here, y'all. So thanks for coming by. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Here it is right here. <laughs> All right, y'all. See you next time. Bye.